everyone. What a great day it is, isn't it? This is, this is just so terrific to be able to be together to celebrate this great, great occasion. Over the course of a hundred years, nearly a billion people have been touched by some good Samaritan acting in the name of Catholic Charity. The dedication that you bring to so many people day in and day out uh, is a real testimony to who we are and what we stand for throughout this country. We need 21st century solutions for 21st century problems. This is not a time for us to be timid about our faith. It is a time for us to be bold in our action. You are the hands of Christ to so many. You express the unconditional love of our God to a hurting and a hungry world. As we will it, so shall the future be. And if we truly believe that, and if we truly work for this, then today and throughout the next century, we can proclaim to the poor and the downtrodden that this is a new day, a new hope, a new way. I think if you show Americans our broken safety net system and then show them how Catholic Charities has programs that exist across this country with the solutions that can fix it, there are going to be communities nationwide that will want to join you and emulate you in your work. You should know that basic needs and closing the hunger gap are important to us as a corporation. So therefore, Catholic Charities has one enormous gift to give to the country, and that is staying power. And quite frankly, I think we can learn a lot from Catholic Charities offices around the country. Because what you're doing when you're considering an individual or a family in need is you're, you're not just thinking about workforce development in a silo and food and nutrition in a silo and housing in a silo, but you're bringing them all to get together, this notion of integral human development. Good society needs private organizations like this, but there is no substitute for a moral vision of government that is sin sincere and serious about the quality of the public life of all of its citizens. Get by. So I think this notion of civility is absolutely related to the work you all are doing across the country. 100 years ago, Catholic Charities was born to change the nation. Today, Catholic Charities charts a bold new direction. Poverty is too complex. It is too personalized to be solved by a one-size-fits-all approach. Recapitalizing the poor is an important economic goal, not just a charitable endeavor, and the benefits will be felt tenfold. Each of our organizations, Catholic Charities and Catholic Health Partners, as ministries of the Catholic Church and rooted in Catholic social teaching is driven by a shared commitment to the sacredness of life and dignity of the human person. I thank you for the leadership and spirit you've all given Catholic Charities. As Pope Paul VI observed, people today learn more from witness than from words. In 1910, to use a Catholic word, bingo. The National Conference of Catholic Charities was established. Catholic Charities USA can hold its head high today as one of the most widely esteemed social welfare outreaches in America is due in great part to your founder, William Joseph Kirby.